Hi everyone and welcome to the weekly KK Report. We are here in the kitchen with KK. What I talk about every week is our health energy tips and the energy that's happening during the week. Yeah, so we're going to fill in the end with what's going on astrologically. That way you can tap into that energy for your highest good. Here, we, my passion is really to help you look at life at a deeper level. There's more things going on than just you, yourself, and your social media. And um, you can use that energy, uh, these tips for your highest good, any way that you like them, or just listen to the health things that I'm going to talk about. But self-growth, personal awareness, that is why we're here. So anything that you can uh, utilize to help you get that, uh, to grow in that way is really, really positive. So we've been talking about fall health, and I do have a full-length fall health video, which you can tap into. You can find it on my website, In the Kitchen with KK, or here on the uh, YouTube channel as well. We're going to be talking, I'm wearing my apron today because we're going to be cutting open a pomegranate, right? Some people shy away from buying pomegranates and they're just so amazingly packed with nutrients. They're also a great fall food. So uh, for instance, for your football parties, make a homemade guacamole. Don't buy them and with their, all this additive stuff. You can make them so, so easy. Add pomegranates to that guacamole. Amazing. I am making a, a, a fall dessert. It's a raw vegan pumpkin square. You top it with fresh pomegranate seeds and fresh uh, organic coconut. And it's wow. It's really, really wow. It's great to add into salads. I just made a salad, arugula, baby, uh, some baby greens. I put in uh, pecans and the uh, pomegranate and some figs. So here you have natural sugars with fiber. So your body's not craving super sweets. You're getting satisfied. You're getting tons of antioxidants. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay. These guys are tough. All right. So, um, what I wanted to tell you a little bit about pomegranates before we go and cut this. Some pomegranates can hold over 600 seeds. That's a whole ton. I've already opened up one here. I had to practice, um, but your sugar, the sugar of these is kept in check by the high fiber of the seeds. And if you buy pomegranate juice, it better darn be full cold press, only pomegranate. Uh, see, so without the fiber, it's going to be going right into your blood that much quicker because a half a cup has four grams of fiber, but it also has 11 grams of sugar. So, uh, but good sugar and a massive amount of antioxidants. That's where, and plant polyphenols, this is where the power of the pomegranate comes in. You're getting 15% of your daily um, value of vitamin C. You're getting 18% of vitamin K, folates. This is one of the B vitamins, 8%. Potassium, 6% of your daily um, value. And vitamin B6, you're also getting about 4%. All right, what else we want to tell you? The history, long history, way back, ancient, ancient times mentioned in the Bible looked at as an aphrodisiac, increasing fertility, been shown to help increase testosterone, as well as positive mood and positive blood pressure. Wow. Okay, so talk about if you're having issues, um, uh, any dysfunctional issues, these are a gem, right? Antioxidants, massive amount of flavanols, uh, which are anti-inflammatory. We know that inflammation is the root of all disease. Sugar is one of the main culprits of that. Also food type of allergies and gluten allergies, soy allergies. That's why I cook completely non-inflammatory to help keep that at bay. Natural arthritis assistance here. Pomegranate seeds themselves have natural anti-cancer effects. So if you can eat the seeds, you're not only getting fiber, you're getting anti-cancer effects. There's whole studies that go into that. The bioactive polyphenols in here, lots of plants have polyphenols, right? So that goes hand in hand with the antioxidants, helping us to get rid of those uh, active free radicals, positive effect on your cardiovascular health, and naturally lowering blood pressure. That's what we want. Also, it's been shown to have a positive effect on the brain, all right? May slowing down Alzheimer's, 
Antioxidants themselves is what your brain needs. So if you start cleaning up your health and you're eating, uh, your chances of getting a, a brain onset, okay, brain onset disease is gonna definitely lower. Let's look at this pomegranate. How gorgeous, right? This is where it was hanging. And it's gonna have ridges right here. These ridges are where the seeds are located. Sharp knife, okay? And um, you're just gonna wanna cut about part way down like this, all the way around. We're gonna take this cap off. So let's see, and I'm gonna hold it over here. Where I dropped it on the floor, it started to run. So this is a hard outer shell, obviously. It's gonna protect. Okay, so we're just gonna undo it a little. You wanna meet on the other side. You see, we've cut that. Now we're gonna take this cap off. So the cap is off. Dun, da, da. Look inside, it looks really nice, right? So I'm just going to open this up. Now the spoon is here, because this is how you're gonna get the seeds out. You just, whoa, you just tap. <laughs> super fun. Whoa, super easy, right? Now you feel a little more confident about buying these, right? Now you're just gonna wanna slice down at each of these uh, pivot points where the rind comes, not too far down though. Let's hope I did this right. Okay, now we're just gonna open it up like a flower. Check this out. <laughs> super fun. Yeah, I used to struggle a little bit till I started doing it right. Hold it upside down like this. This is where you whack it. <laughs> you just hit it nice and hard. And the seeds are just gonna pop right out. You definitely want a bowl, and you definitely want to protect your clothes. Um, I really didn't want any splatter on my white shirt. Look at this, guys. Woohoo! So we've got beautiful pomegranate seeds, which I'm definitely gonna be eating right after this video. So let me clean my hands. And we're gonna talk about the weekly weather. So, so if you don't wanna pay almost $5 for them to cut it up yourself, you can get your own pomegranates now and do it. Get little containers with little tops, just put little to-go packs in there and take them a great item to, uh, to um, accent your lunch, your healthy lunch. So, okay, this menu, <laughs> this is really cute, right? This little apron. So let's get down to business and talk about the weekly energy. So tomorrow, tomorrow, Monday, we are, uh, we're in this energy right now and the moon's going to be void tomorrow. So we get a lot of stuff done today. The connections that we're making now are very important. The chatter, the connection, the, because the moon's in Gemini, it's all about making connections in our local environment. These are big. So Monday, you're going to want to follow up on that. The moon's void until 2.01 PM. When it's void, things don't really connect. So having business meetings, starting new things, um, you know, it's, it's, they don't always work out appointments. You get lost or whatever it is. So go with the flow, take care of these connections and get set up, get your project set up for the week and uh, follow up on things. The action is going to start when the moon moves into cancer. It is an action sign. This action is revolving around emotions, being comfortable, um, emotionally secure family issues. Those all come up during this time. And the moon is going to be in an opposition to Saturn, giving us much more discipline, responsibility in our uh, approach, okay? Tuesday is a Mars day. And uh, last week on Tuesday, the eclipse was being triggered. So you may have um, uh, had some exciting thing happen, all right? The eclipse from July 27th was triggered. There may have been some arguments. Tuesday being a Mars day, it is the, the biggest day uh, where arguments uh, can occur, especially if Mars is active that day. Mars is in the sign of Aquarius, making our friendships, our groups, and those connections uh, very positive right now. The action that we're taking, if you're considering your effect on humanity, that is a positive use of this type of energy. Aquarius is the opposite of Leo. Leo is personal love and creativity. And Aquarius have tons of friends and they're looking toward humanity and they're a little more disconnected from that personal uh, part. 
So the moon continues to be in that action sign. So we're getting stuff done. People want stuff, but people can be more emotional. It's about your comfort, your home, nurturing, trying out new recipes is a great time. Cooking at home is a great time and a great use of this energy that's going on. It's a last quarter moon as well. Um, and so that means that we're making some adjustments to, uh, to the new moon that we just had in Virgo last month and the adjustments based on what we've had. So we can go forward and get cleaned up and get ready for the next new moon, which is going to be on Monday. Okay, um, what else is happening here? We've got, uh, there's, a, there's an active T-square going on. Squares put us into a project. When the planet Mercury that rules the minor communications and our thought process is involved in this, that can bring a, a solid amount of focus here because Saturn's involved as well. So utilize this extremely well. And um, there's a lot of nurturing aspects on Tuesday. So all the best there. Work on uh, making any adjustments you need to and then growing what you're working on. That's when the things are in water signs, we want to grow. Um, so Wednesday is a Mercury day. Uh, Mercury is, is in the sign of Libra. So it's all about cooperation with others, diplomacy skills, our relationship skills. And uh, we've got to, the moon is a void again <laughs> all day until 5.13 p.m. We have these long void periods because of the shift of Uranus into the early signs of Taurus particularly. So this gives us time to get caught up, which is terrific. So we're getting caught up because in the evening when the moon goes into Leo, then it's more about our creativity, having fun and romance and kind of living, living it up a little bit. And the evening is a little bit exciting because the moon's going to square Uranus. Uranus makes us change squares, create changes. Uranus is a little bit exciting not so exciting in Taurus as it is in as it was in Aries, but it's going to stay in that sign for seven years. So we get that going and get ready for Mercury to go into the super ultra focused sign of Scorpio on the ninth. That's next Tuesday. All right. So we're still considering all of the uh, cooperation stuff. In fact, Mercury will be at 29 degrees of, of the new moon in Libra. So what does that say? We're working on relationship skills. Um, so, and there's a big shift coming up this Friday of Venus. Okay, so Thursday. I love Thursdays. It's a Jupiter day. It's all about expansion and protection and education. What's going on right now? Sexual misconduct. More, yeah, because Jupiter moved direct in July. And uh, it's in Scorpio. Scorpio rules that. That's the low end of that, of that sign. Um, healing is one of the higher ends of that sign. Finances and investments is a very productive use of that energy. So growing that. With the moon in Leo, it's all about positive, confident, creative energy. And let loose a little. Have fun. Let your inner child out. The uh, Jupiter's moving into Sagittarius, November the 8th. All you early Sagittarius, get ready. It's coming into your sign, brings new opportunities for you. And uh, wherever that is in your own chart, you need to reach out to me. Just message me, KK, um, at KK Astrology. For that personally, or message me below. I mean, all the contacts are right there below. Venus is stationing, and she wants to go deeper. We're feeling it already Thursday. So um, as of Friday, this is a big reveal that's going to be happening. Venus goes retrograde every year, and it's a whole process, a year and a half process. Venus is our sister planet. When she meets with the sun, she is closest to the earth when she's retrograde. October 25th, 26th, big shit might be coming out in your relationships. We're going to get news. You're also going to plant seeds, but this is deep stuff. So... She's going to uncover anything that needs to be uncovered. It might be a little bit uncomfortable, uh, but she's going to reveal what is below the surface because Scorpio wants long-term investment. Okay. 
So we're taking a deeper look at something that we're investing in, these projects that we're working on. We're getting rid of things and people that no longer service in the future going forward. Uh, no beauty treatments during Venus retrograde all the way through November the 16th because you're not going to be able to cure what's in here with what's out there. People want to just throw stuff on their skin. Well, it's a great time then to liven up your, your health routine right? So that you're glowing from the inside out. The work must be done inside. Saturday is going to continue to be a work day. It's a Saturn day already, but with Saturn and Capricorn, the ultimate achiever sign that wants to have goals, it is work and discipline. It's asking us to master something. So we're building something here with the moon and another earth sign as well. Virgo, it's all about our working details. So um, Saturday is an excellent day to get your work done, guys. Get on it Get this weekend. Get productive. And uh, in the evening, take a break and go see a movie because um, the, the aspect to Neptune is perfect for that. So have your goals set. Get your stuff done. And then uh, reward yourself with going to see a movie or something or just having some fun. Uh, on Sunday radiates of course with the energy of the sun in libra we're feeling this new moon coming in it is social partnerships and relationships uh, we can get further with other people we can get there faster aries loves to do stuff so fast i understand that energy being another fire sign but to get there um get further you must go with you must need that you get the help from someone else okay um, the moon is void most of Sunday and at nine o'clock at night, it goes into Libra. So, and it's Columbus day weekend. So we're feeling that new moon, uh, get ready to have some issues around your relationships come up. Venus rules money and relationships. So there will be some issues going on with your, uh, your investments and your love investments. Uh, get ready big things coming up okay so enjoy some pomegranates not that you saw this guys this is amazing I can't wait to dig in because I love my pomegranates have an incredible week thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing to my channel share it with anyone hit the little bell button so you know like when I have a new video up and this gets posted to my in the kitchen with KK website where you can find Lots of videos and uh, great recipes as well. Have a fabulous week, guys.